Hello everyone. Welcome to Crate Myrtle Row. My name is Lisa. Today I have another big thrift haul for you guys. So we're just going to jump right into it so we don't take up forever. Still going to be long though. <laughs> First thing I'm going to show you is this Blue Jay planter. Love Blue Jays. Love the sound they make. I, a crow, by the way, is my favorite bird. I know that's weird, but I love the sound of a crow makes and I love the sound a Blue Jay makes, even though they're aggressive birds. Anyhow, paid $3.99 for this one. It's made in Japan and just thought it was adorable. Don't know if I'll put anything um, in it or just put it up high where you just see it as a figurine. Next, you know I love my swans. So I found this one and it was um, 99 cent and it's a kissing figurine too. So love that. <clears throat> Then this one I actually got in an, uh, like a little boutique store. Love this thing. Now I did pay a lot more for this one. I paid $20 for this, which is, ugh. but it's wood. And then it's got the um, gold leafing on it. Love that. And the lady in the store, she had like some of her soaps displayed in it that she was selling, but I'm actually going to use it. I think beside my chair in the living room to lay, lay my remote control and my reading glasses and stuff in. But I just love that, it's so pretty. And then next thing, I love J-Dot as you can see up here. And I found this little bag, it says face mask mixing bowl set. Don't know what the face mask was, but I bought it because it's the J dot green and it had two dollars on it but it was a um, half price so i paid a dollar for it but isn't that the cutest little bowl and look it matches the J dot stuff perfectly so love that and then it had little measuring spoons and then it just had some little brushes and little things like that that i can use in my crafting i just Mainly when I saw that little bowl, I just, and you know, this clear lid comes off, so it just looks like one of those vintage mixing bowls. Thought that was so cute. Next, I also love my milk glass, you know, guys. <laughs> so this one was $2.50, and it is by Fenton. Still got the sticker on it. Little hobnail milk glass, and love the little arrangement someone had already made into it, and the little ruffled. Part. I thought that was so cute and for $2.50 for Fenton. Y'all know that's really good. And then these guys, I'm not sure how to pronounce this or if I'm saying it right, but I will I will look it up and write it up here on the screen. Anthropomorphic, I think is what it's called. <laughs> when they put faces on objects that's not supposed to have faces. But these little salt and pepper shakers, they're vintage, made in Japan, and I paid $1.99. And I just think they're adorable. And they will go over on my coat crates over there. And then this little vintage purse, because y'all know I love my purses, and I know this one's too small. I would not actually carry it. It's probably just meant more for a little trinket box. But it looks like the vintage purses I like. And I paid, I think it was $2. Unfortunately, I forgot it in my car on a very hot day, and the plastic cracked right there. So I've got to very carefully glue it back together. And this came from an estate sale, but I thought it would be cute in there. I display all my purses on a shelf in my guest bedroom. So this one would be cute just sitting there with those. And then next I have this croc and I paid $3.99 of the faux tulips. And these are those that have that real touch feel. Love these. And they were all just standing straight. So I just took and bent them to look a little more natural but i think that is so pretty and these things are not cheap when you try to buy them out the next is speaking of my swans and stuff is this one and i paid 6.99 for it love this it does have a little it's not chipping it's just a little bit of the paint has like came off but it's not chipped there i just love the wings i, I was surprised to find this in a thrift store with the wings still intact and not, you know, tips broke off or anything. And then of course this color down here goes really well in my living room. And I actually have it already displayed up on top of my entertainment center. 
So if you watch my um, Instagram or Facebook reels or whatever, you've probably recall seeing that on top of that already. The next thing is one of these things that I absolutely had a fit over when I got it. I've been wanting one forever, just didn't want to pay the prices for it. And it's this cake plate, the strawberry cake plate. And y'all, I got this for free. And the way I did it was, this came from Salvation Army, and it was $9.99 with a green tag. Well, that day, green tags were half off. And then, if you, my Salvation Army, if you shop there, you get a little shopping card, and every time you, I think it's 5 or $10 you spend, they stamp it. And I had one that was filled up, so I got $5 off of any item. So I got it for free. <laughs> I love it. Of course, it goes, you know, perfect with my strawberries. And I've never seen one with the chocolate on it. And it goes perfect. Last year, a year before, I, I thrifted this plate. Now, I don't know what kind of top was supposed to have gone with this plate. I just loved it. And I, I had just displayed a, like a strawberry pie um, dish sitting in it. But this goes perfectly on it. And I uh, just had a fit over that. Next is I love to thrift books. And um, this one was the color scheme Bible. And see how it's just like if this is your wall color and, you know, do some accents and all these others. Like this would be your main accents. This a little bit less in your accents. And the funny thing is I already had my living room painting before I... Um, found this book. This is my living room wall color, and that right there is sort of the door color that's on my wall, I think. Or is it more this one? It may be more this one. This is the living room, and that's more my door color. But, I mean, and you know, I use a little bit of pieces of red and coral, so that kind of goes there. But I just thought this was so cool, all the different color schemes and stuff. And I think I paid a dollar for it at that particular um, place. Move some stuff around here. And then I had, this one was decorating junk market style. And it's just where they take all kinds of stuff and turn it into other things that they can use. You know, just, you know, salvage junk. Like that one with, with those, I think, are legs off of chairs and stuff. And then just made pegs and then they had to stack suitcases, which I do have a collection of stacked suitcases like that at the end of my hall, but, and look at those, the old ball things there. Was it croquet that that, that is? And then made it into candles. Just thought that was adorable. And get a lot of ideas for stuff like that. <clears throat> and that one was, I think, 50 cents. This next one is called Wildflowers. It's a big book, but oh my goodness, I love the picture. I mean, just all these pictures of the plants and those. And then like this one right here, if you've watched my living room tour, you'll notice that I have a painting of one of these plants. It's called the pitcher plant. And someone did it in a oil pastel, similar to that on, on that blue green background in I just love that. I thrifted that picture and a different frame and then just put the two together. And it's one of my favorite pieces in there now, but this is just so pretty. And if someone really wanted to, I wouldn't want to destroy the book, but if you wanted to, you could take these out or make color copies of them and then frame each one and then like do a gallery wall of all the different flowers like that would be really pretty. Okay, where do we want to go next? All right, this, it says $3, but I got it for $1.50. And it's just wood and little metal. I'm gonna paint this. I don't like the color that's on it. And this metal piece has screws to, to take it off. So I will redo that. Probably I'm gonna do like a thrift flip haul with some a few things, because I've had a lot of um, different stuff come up that I, I need to paint and redo stuff with. And that will be one of those in that. And then next 
I loved this vintage rooster I got for $1.99. And it is a made in Japan piece. And I just thought the colors on that were so pretty. I do decorate with chickens and bee decor come summertime. Well, I know it's almost summertime. I'm thinking if I can get into the mood, I'm going to do it this week. Like change this stuff out and then all of my hutch out to bee decor. But I just don't know yet. <laughs> I have to be in the mood to do stuff like that and but I'm gonna get to it soon and then this will go with my bee decor my little honey bear he was 350 and he does have the little space that you can put the dipper down in there if you want to and I have one very similar to this but you know can't have enough honey bears he's so cute and in my guest bedroom I collect little vintage poodle dogs and most of them are like this they have these spaghetti spaghetti trim is what that's called when it's that kind of ruffled up looking ceramic or porcelain and this one was three dollars and it's you know probably from around the 50s i guess don't know for sure but the rest of mine are, are around that era and this looks like it so can't wait to put him or her in there with him and y'all know I have to have a vintage purse, so I found this one at an estate sale for $5. Love the little plastic part just inside. I don't know. It has a tag. I'm not sure where it's made. Don't have my glasses on to, to see it, so love that. And then this piece, I got it for $1.50. It's just this little ceramic little watering can and I just loved see how the crackle finish on the paint and then this color goes in my living room it will go in my bedroom because I'm using more of this lighter color than what's in my living room in my bedroom and my bathroom is going to be in some form of this color too I believe I'm still working on that I know y'all probably like all these home renovations I've been doing this entire year and I got this kitchen, dining room, living room completed. Laundry room, I've just, I've decorated, kind of got it up. It needs painting. Not gonna do that anytime soon because you really don't see it and no one sees it but me. I'm the only one that's in there. So that will be like a, when I don't have anything else to renovate and I'm in the mood to do it, I'll do that room. My bathroom, I'm still, you know, the, the walls are bare. I got the flooring redone, the ceilings redone, but the walls are bare. Got to do some work in there. And I'm, I'm thinking about putting um, beadboard up like Wayne's Cotting and doing a little bit different there. Maybe some wallpaper at the top. So I'm just, I'm, I'm waiting till it just comes to me exactly what I want to do. There's no rush. I mean, we don't have a lot of visitors here, so I'm not too worried about how it looks. It, it's functional and all. So that's how I'm going to leave it until I get in the mood. And my bedroom looks fine like it is right now. You know, I just did a mini update on it last year just with the accessories and stuff and it's fine like it is but I do want to repaint it and and change out some things to give it more of a I don't know a shabby chic or French country kind of look but also that's something that, that will come as I get into mood for it probably around July August here in the south in South Carolina, it gets extremely hot during those times, and the heat. I mean, the it may the temperature may only be in the 90s, but I mean the humidity is unbearable. It's like 80, 90 percent humidity sometimes more on those days, and you you can't breathe outside. So days like that, when I just need to stay indoors, is when I'll work on doing those other renovations. <laughs> right now, we still have nice enough days to die. I like to be outside when I can. So these next pieces, I paid $5.50, and they're this milk glass. I'm not sure the maker or the pattern this is. I haven't looked that up, but I just thought those were very pretty. Love milk glass. And then, speaking of milk glass, I found this set. This is Westmoreland brand, and it's a gravy boat. And I paid, how much for it? $7.99. And I love, it's the grape pattern on it. 
love this. I do have some, some more pieces of this with the great pattern on it. And last year, I decided to use my milk glass. Sorry, having to reach out of the way. I used my milk glass during the fall of the year and mixed it in with my blue and white dishes and my fall colored stuff with the oranges and it was gorgeous. So that's what I'm gonna do again this year is mix it with the blue and white. Sometimes I'll put it out in the summer with seashell stuff. I'm not sure if I'll do that here in the dining room, but I might. I'm, I mean, I want my chicken and bee. I'm kind of behind on things because of the renovations I did. I didn't get to put my strawberry stuff out as soon as I wanted to, so I've been wanting to leave it out for a while and enjoy looking at it. I'll change over to my bee decor and chicken decor. If I start getting tired of it before fall gets here, I might put my milk glass out with, with the beach theme and then transition on into the fall by taking out the shells and stuff and leaving the milk glass. Who knows? We shall see. Next is this vintage rolling pin and I got it for $2.99 and I loved it because you can, it actually rolls independent of this handle. So like that holds still and that rolls where some of them it's all, you know, just a solid piece. And I don't really have any more room. I collect these and I've done a tour of my kitchen and dining room and you can see it over beside my hooser cabinet. I don't have any more space to add any to it, but I could not pass one up that was vintage for that price and these red handles. I might use it in my crafting, you know, rolling out clay or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> it could be left behind though. I mean, that would be a crime. Next, I got this set of books at a little boutique and they were from 1910 and it says the world's best, 100 best short stories. And I just thought those were so cute. I love using vintage books in my decor. These would even be pretty up on that shelf with the red, but I didn't ha have many with red on them. Most of mine I collect are blue or green, but I thought these were pretty. I could leave them as a set and, you know, put some pretty bookends on the bottom, or I can split them up and stack them. You know, I do this a lot of times, and then I'll sit stuff on top of the stack, maybe with a little doily or something like that. So, don't know how I'm going to use them, but with them being red, I thought they would come in handy for different, you know, Valentine's decor, 4th of July decor, Christmas decor, whatever. Or, you know, summertime. The red goes and it goes with these strawberries and everything. So, loved it. And these next pieces are these vintage panel wall hangings. And they, the thing on the back here says they were copyrighted in 1954. And they're the Four Seasons. Now, I paid $1.99 for each stack. So, there's two here and two here. And like I said, they're the seasons. So, this is the holly. And the one in the back, I think, is mums or chrysanthemums. And then this one is the roses. And then in the one in the back of it, it looks like a dogwood a branch. Now, they would be beautiful just hanging on the wall like they are. You know, vintage home. I haven't quite decided after finding out how expensive these are. You know, I've got $4 in the set, and I have seen them anywhere from $74 to $150 on eBay, which is shocking. So, and I know someone who's really into vintage would love these and would, you know, absolutely die for what I was planning on doing with them. <laughs> because what I thought about doing with them, and I may still do it, I don't know. I mean, they're mine. I can do what I want. Is I thought they would be perfect in the center of the doors. In my laundry room you know you got the panel door or it's not mine's not paneled it's just a flat door with like a little carved in edge well I thought about gluing these on to the centers of the doors paint it all and then do you know some waxing and distressing to just give it a carved wood dimension look on the doors I don't know I may do that I may not so I got I gotta think about it because I know how I am with something that's truly vintage and somebody wants to kind of destroy what it really is for another purpose. I'm like, ah, I 
would have loved to have had that. So I will have to wait and see. <laughs> Next is this big giant basket. I got it in an estate sale for $20 and I absolutely love this thing. It, it will look good on top of my entertainment center if I want to use it there because I can use really big statement pieces there. But it also, it works great for storage in my craft room. It holds a lot of stuff down inside of it. Matter of fact, most of this I just showed you came out of that basket. All right, then one more basket I have, and I think I paid $1.99 for this one. And I just thought it was an unusual shape. And I love baskets. Um, like I said, they, they're great for storage. I have several in my laundry room. Like on top of my dryer, I put some cleaning, like those microfiber cloths. I have several of those that I use for cleaning purposes. So I have different colored ones and I have them rolled up and in, inside a basket. Um, just different little laundry related things I have stored in baskets sitting around in there. So I can always use them and they're great for just decor. So love that basket too. Okay, next is this box that I found and I paid uh, $2.99 for it. I'm going to use it in my craft room to do some stored things in. And it already has a painting there. I may repaint this. may use it just to practice on some things. I recently took some, it was called Painting Camp from a local um, place here in my town. And we just learned each day and it turned out I was the only student she had that week. <laughs> only one who signed up. So I got one-on-one -on -one training, but we went through each different paints um, that they carried and like um, mineral fusion paint and then the DIY, Debbie's DIY design paint and stuff like that, milk paint. We just, each day we, we took different paints and learned how to use them, the best techniques to use them. And then we also learned how to do transfers and then the IOD, which is iron orchid designs, I think. <laughs> it, the they have molds like silicone molds of like flowers and birds or whatever you want and you use the air dry clay in them and then you can take those pieces off and then mold them onto and glue them onto other pieces and they look like they're like in carved pieces so i may use that box to play around in with those designs and all so anyhow if i do stuff like that i will probably do you know some some videos of thrift flips and show that in it. This will be another piece I'll probably do in a thrift flip. And that is this, um, it's like a plastic trash can. And I paid $4.99 and I just, I love these old vintage trash cans and I thought this one had a lot of detail, would be a lot of fun to repaint and do some techniques on. Okay, what do we have next? The next thing, y'all, I could not believe that I got this, this quilt. Oh my goodness. I paid $20 for it. And it's it's a big one. <laughs> it's like at least a full size, if not a queen size. But it is new. And the reason I know, I mean, you can tell it's never been used or whatever. Oh, and even the back of it's really pretty. But it was, still got the tag on it. Made with love by the ladies of the Albany Independent Baptist Church. And then it has the Proverbs there. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. Is that pretty? And I just, those colors. So this is probably a bunch of the ladies at church just got together and had quilting things. We did that at my church one time. The ladies got together and made it. It was called Quilts of Valor. So they were given to um, the veterans in the church and, or active duty too. But um, we had a lady that done that, done that with our church and, and just people brought in scrap cloth or she provided cloth and she taught everyone how to make different quilts. And then all the, the veterans got one at the end of the, I forget, I don't know if it was a year or six months or however long it took them, everyone got one. The only thing I did on one is um, I did some binding for one of the quilts and all, but I didn't actually get to do any of the other stuff, but I loved that quilt. I loved the colors in it, and I was so excited to get that. Okay, my last piece, I think, don't, nope, I have two pieces left. This one is just a pillow with the 
the little candle wicking, like a sea horse and the shells and stuff. My back porch, which you can see back here, is in a beach design. I haven't done an updated video recently, but I, I mean, you can look, if you go to my channel, you can look through all my videos and there's one from last year when I, when I did that porch. But I do a beach theme out there. So had this little pillow I thought would be cute out there with it. And the last thing I got is like, oh my gosh, I saw this in the window and I had a fit over it. And this come from an antique store. This original oil painting, and look at the detail. The little American flag right there. Oh my gosh, I had a fit over this. The guy wanted $50 for it. I said, is that the best you can do? He said, I'll give it to you for 42, including tax. So I took it. Love this. In the summertime, in my living room, I do a beach theme in there, and I have a lot of these ships. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a lot of these ships that I decorate with, big, giant ones <laughs> everywhere. And I thought this would be perfect in there. And then who knows, I might figure out a way to put it in my bedroom or something. I don't know. I love it. The only thing I'm not 100% crazy about is the frame. It's just the unfinished wood. I'm thinking I need to do something. Dry brush, maybe a white or a color on it, or maybe even like take gold wax and put on it. I'm not sure. So y'all leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think I should do to kind of help the frame on this. Because I'm, I don't know. I mean, it's not bad. I just, I think it needs a little something. <laughs> but anyhow, to get an original oil painting, because this is not a print. This is original oil painting. There's the artist, but I don't, I can't really make it out. Is one of the things I love to find to put in my home. You know, I'm not, I'm not worried about some famous artists. I mean, there's just everyday people that out here painting that are just as good, if not better than some of these famous artists. So to find like original works that someone took their time to do is my absolute favorite. So the next thing I'm gonna tell you about is a sweet lady that I found on here. Um, one of my subscribers that also subscribes to her told me about her and I am so glad she did because I love this lady's channel. Her name is Marla Kane, and it's Raising Kane is her channel. I'll put a link down below, have a little pop-up somewhere here so you can see her. You definitely need to check out her channel because she is the sweetest lady, very godly woman, you know, just always gives you encouraging words at the end of her video. And if you like my channel and like this stuff that I thrift, you're going to love hers because she has a very similar taste and all and finds some of the craziest things too. And if you follow me on Facebook, you've probably already seen the link to her channel. And some of you have already went over there and started following her. And thank you so much. I know she appreciates it and I do as well. And she gave me a shout out after that onto her channel on her one of her latest thrift videos. And many of you have came over and joined me here. And I thank you and welcome to my YouTube family. So I like to, when I find someone that I enjoy watching, I know that y'all will enjoy watching. I like sharing them with you guys because I mean, I like finding new people to follow and getting ideas and stuff. So I'll always do that. Try to encourage other YouTubers and, you know, share their channels. And if you're watching this and you have your own YouTube channel, please leave me a comment and let me know you do so I can check yours out and maybe share yours with everyone. Because sometimes people's names, you know, sometimes they just use their personal name when it's just a personal channel. They don't actually make YouTube videos. And sometimes I have people that have a name. It sounds like they make YouTube videos, but then there's not any. So let me know if you are one that, yes, you, you have your own channel too. I would love to check you out. So until next time, y'all have a very blessed day. Bye.